Okay guys, we're out here working on Trojan horse. Yeah, that's a valve cover. Um, yesterday we were getting ready to start it up. We got done with all the work. As you guys know, you've seen the video. And, or I'm assuming you've seen the video. If I put it up yet, I should have. Um, anyway, I tried to bump it over. I rolled it over a few times to get the oil pressure up um, since I changed the oil. Had a new filter in it and everything. Got that done, primed it. Um, it tried to light a little bit, the bump, bump, bump. So I shut it off and primed it two or three or four more times to get the fuel pressure up. And then I rolled it over and as soon as I did, it started, uh, it chattered for a second and I shut it off. I didn't know what was going on. Then I um, tried to bump it with a starter and it hit a hard spot. So I got, got the ratchet, rolled it around with the ratchet. And this is why you gotta be careful. When we took the upper intake off, the plate, the name plate, had a couple jacked up screws in it from corrosion, and um, the name plate was broke. We had to break the name plate. And um, I guess a piece of that, when we took the upper off, I never saw it, never heard it, anything. It dropped into number eight. And there it is. That was keeping us from rolling over. Now, the, the good news on that is, sorry about that, the good news is it's you know just cast aluminum. It's nothing. It's really soft, so it didn't hurt anything. Um, it didn't look like it got the cylinder wall. I mean, it it didn't even run for a second. I heard it as soon as it went through. Um, the head's okay. So uh, you know this just cost us a a head gasket and um, a set of intake gaskets. You know, no big deal. Could have been a whole lot worse. So we'll clean it up. We'll get the you know another intake gasket or head gasket on it and we'll put stock head back on and you know roll it or, you know get it going again and we'll run it and then then we'll get ready to do our other stuff but yeah got lucky man super lucky so you always got to kind of be careful that's what happened i never heard it or nothing just got lucky so all right guys well, you know what i want to say i gotta get back to work all right we're out all right, here we are with some of our initial weight loss stuff. I'll run through this real quick because it's always just super boring. It's just a bunch of garbage. We're out here at the secret facility. Got our otherwise known as the dump now because we've got most of this garbagey Mustang out here. I'll run through some of the weights real quick. Front sway bar was 22.7. Dog bone was like nine pounds. Front bumper was like 22.4 with the uh, bracketry. The um, fog light bar was like 15 or so. Console and radio was like nine and a half. Quad shocks was six. Um, the seat with no bracket was 41. This uh, miscellaneous tote stuff's got the smog pump in it and some other things was um, 56 pounds, 57 pounds. Rear sway bars, 11 pounds. You know, fan and the AC stuff was like, some of the AC stuff was six pounds and like 14 pounds. The rear seat was 39 and a half um, Just the sound deadener all the sound deadener stuff was was close to 70 pounds What I've got out of it so far basically where I'm at right now counting the driver's seat in Bracketry just with subtracting the what the fiberglass seat and bracket weighs I'm probably I'm right around 350 pounds of weight loss Plus what we're going to get out of the front wheels. So, you know, we're that's, that's probably another 25 or 30. So we, um, that's gonna put us, that's gonna put us close to 400 pounds of weight. Well, you know, 380 or so, right in that area. So that's 38, we got about, probably about another 130 we can pull out of it. So that's gonna be close to, you know, 500 pounds that we could get out of the car and still drive it around and everything. So that'd be pretty significant. So anyway, this is where we stand with our weight loss. This is, I know, super exciting, super boring. So let me cut this off real quick, move on to the next thing. Yo, 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 YouTube. Guess what we're fixing to do? Yeah, we're fixing to clean that mess up, put that new head gasket on, and at least get the head bolted down tonight. Maybe get the lower put on, but at least get the head on, so. Uh. You know, $39 and some change, plus the RTV and, you know, the time out of my day that I could be doing something else with it or on another project and the stress level. 
you know, of not knowing what had happened. So, like I say, best case scenario out of a, <laughs> it was the best of a worst case scenario. How's that? Okay. Well, let me get some spanners, as the Aussies and the Brits say. We just call them ranches around here. Let me get some ranches and some other junk and um, go out there and work on it. We probably won't use them two screwdrivers or that electrical tape, but that razor blade, we probably use that. All right, I got to go and go beat on this junk. You guys keep doing whatever you're doing, watching YouTube. All right, we're out. And we've got our list pretty much all checked off. We've got a few other little things we've got to take care of that are really small and then we'll be close to being ready to drive it around. But the list, well this list, is officially done. Boom. And here's a super quickie. We've got it back together. We've got it running. Um, our thermostat housing is leaking like a bitch. <laughs> so we got to take that back off. Good job to me. Well, maybe not a good job to me because I didn't do a good one. Look at that. I think it's boring. Uh, way to go. Good job. Okay, well, barring the water uh, pouring out of it, it is running. Sounds fine. I just, I mean, it hasn't even warmed up yet. So, and it is a miserable, miserable day. It's raining, just garbage. Garbage day, so I know it's got the hot air intake on it, but we're going to use our uh, boom tube. We're going to cut our headlight out in here, back side of it, so we can run our tube out the front for a little ram air action. So that'll help maybe give us a little power. I guess I should probably uh, tighten the water pump pulley bolts down so it don't fly off. But uh. Anyway, it's running, so let me shut it off and tighten those up real quick, and then I'll give it a rev or two. All right. Whoop, whoop. Well, we got a couple more goodies for the Trojan horse. We got us a autometer shift light. It was $30 shipped, and we got us a her shifter. Some people don't like these. I'm a big fan of these. I've basically got one in every car. Um, so that was... I think $52 ship. So a couple things, not going to really make us fast, but help the car a little bit, or, or let me rephrase that, help me in the car. That's, and I need all the help I can get. So, okay, on to the next thing. What's up? Didn't realize you guys are going to be out here. Um, well, you may or may not have seen some of this on the videos. We got a little problem with the Trojan horse. First off, I'm Rodney. I'm the idiot behind the camera and doing the videos and all that kind of rigmarole. So this is something a little new that nobody will probably like. I just got off work. Don't mind the hole in my shirt. And um, <clears throat> I figured I'd try my GoPro. So there it is. You guys are looking at me. I'm looking at you. Like I was saying, we've got a problem with the Trojan horse. It's, um, I think maybe we've broke a piston skirt. So you guys know we've had some mishaps already with the, with the piece of nameplate dropping down in. So. I think what we're gonna do, I was gonna try and run it. Um, I've driven it around, it actually feels pretty decent, but I, I've just driven it just a little bit around the block a couple times. And it's probably only really ran probably about 10 or 15 minutes um, since we had that issue. But I think we've got a piston skirt broke. So rather than take a chance and go out and race it and a couple of times run it you know, like it is now, and then maybe do the, do the exhaust and do some more weight loss or whatever and run it like that. Rather than do that, I think we're just going to pull the motor, we're going to pull the oil pan off, and we're going to see if that's exactly what we've got. And if it is, we're going to go ahead and 
get another stock piston. We'll pop the rings off of this one. We'll just do a little mumbo, a little magic, a little mumbo jumbo. And we'll just kind of stick it back together. Put our stocky seven head back on again and take it to the track we want to. What we're doing is here, this is an exercise of working yourself to death for no gain, no result. But we're gonna fix that, we're not giving up. I actually, for whatever reason, I like this thing. It's a piece of garbage, but for some reason, I'm just growing attached to it. So, <clears throat> but that's what we're gonna do. So this is my first GoPro deal. It's the first time you guys get to see me. I know it's scary and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, we'll try to do some more of these and we'll get the, we'll get that, you guys, we'll get you guys mounted in the car. You know, I got a suction cup attachment. I got all the little gadgets and things. So we'll get all that hooked up. And right now I gotta go, you know, start taking this apart so we can get it going. So anyway. We'll see you guys later.